Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first round draw of this year's Summer Cup. 2014-15 has been a very successful season here at the uh, EUSU, with over 35 teams competing in Europe's top tier, the EUSU Intramural League. So, to begin with, we've come to our traditional end of season curtain closer, um, and we have with us Hector the Giant Panda, and of course Connor Bond, the Sports Union President. Um, this year we are in partnership with Macmillan and the Student Housing Company and of course UEFA. Um, so, to the draw, we have 12 teams, 12 fantastic teams from all across campus, all across societies and subjects. So let me explain how the draw is going to work. We've got six seeded teams, you can see them here in the fishbowl. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to draw four of them four of the top seeded teams and they're going to get a bye to the second round. We're then going to add our six non-seeded teams. And out of that eight, we're going to draw our first round, which will be played this weekend. I can't remember the dates. So, without any further ado, Hector, can you draw us the first seeded ball, please? And our first team through to round two is... <laughs> maybe... <laughs> Number five, EUMFC. EUMFC, of course, the medics, captained by Ang Angus Sinclair, winner of the Wednesday League this season. Great team. And our second ball, please, Hector. Much easier that time, much easier. Professional. Number 12, the engineers. The engineers, of course, captained by Chris Bermudis. Just scraped into European spot this year in the Saturday and the Sunday League, so they'll be enjoying trips to Anderlecht and Bilbao next season. Big for the engineers, big for the engineers. Hector, our third ball. Number one, the informatics. Number one, the informatics. Informatics have had a great season this year, coming second in the Saturday League. And uh, Hector, our final ball for round two. And the final team through to round two is. Number nine, CF. Grantanamo. CF Grantanamo, of course, captained by Rob Key, a favourite here at EUSU. Um, table toppers from the Sunday League, uh, second placed when we came into the, uh, the top six split, but all, all the same, winners, good, good. Connor, if you'd like to add the second round of six balls, please. For marketing reasons, could you show the name on the bucket, please? Mike Mellon, there, great, thank you. Okay, Hector. The first home team to play this weekend. It's number two, Equality Street. Equality Street, of course, captained by Ed, Big Ed, yeah, coming fifth in the Saturday League. One of the one of the mid-table teams, Hector, who are uh, who are Equality Street going to be hosting this weekend? It's number 11, FSA. FSA, one of the seeded teams that remained in the fishbowl. Um, of course, captained by, by Joe Wingfield, an industrious centre mid. Uh, coming sixth in the Sunday League, but second in the Wednesday League. Where was the form guide, guys? Tell us, tell us what happened. Hector, the next home team, please. You're doing a great job for a panda, well done. Number six, Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona captained by, by Big Dougie, of course. Uh, finished fourth in the Saturday League this year. A decent season, not quite as far school as you might have thought. Hector, who are Barcelona hosting this weekend? It's number four, RDVC. Number four, RDVC. Now, RDVC, the lowest seeded team in this year's draw, coming second bottom 
Everyone loves an underdog though. Everyone loves an underdog and that is the magic of the cup. Good luck to you RDVC, good luck. Hector, our next team please. Our third home team this weekend is... It's number five, the Flying Carrots. Number five, the Flying Carrots. Flying Carrots, it's their last season. The last season for the Flying Carrots this year. I'm, I'm re re reliably informed. That might be nonsense. Um, it's the last season for the Flying Carrots. A decent season for them, um, but third bottom of the Sunday League. Same cut runs on the cards though? I would say so. I would say so. I've met Lee, I've met um, Gohar, both decent players. Could be their year, could be their year for the cup. Who are the flying carrots going to be hosting this weekend? It's number 10, Bucca Juniors. Just number 10, is it? <laughs> Bucca Juniors, okay. Bucca Juniors captained by Ian Carruthers. The winners of the Saturday League, Bucca Juniors, are our other seeded team that was left in there. So a tough fixture for Flying Carrots. But if they can get past Bucca Juniors, this could well be their year. Hector, our final home team for this weekend's round of fixtures. Make sure your head's on there, pal. <laughs> can you see the balls? <laughs> Don't laugh. It's number seven. It's the youngsters, Pollock FC. The youngsters of Pollock FC, of course, captained by Hans Joachim Newfield. Yeah, yeah, a great player himself. Seventh in the Saturday League this season, so room for improvement, but you never know. It's all up for grabs in the cup. And Hector, complete the draw for us. The final team out of the fishbowl is. It's number four, Cowan's Crew. It's number four, Cowan's Crew. Cowan's Crew's complete the draw there, fantastic. The last away team, captained by Colin Fraser, coming uh, middle middle table finish, uh, seventh in the Saturday League, so a decent season all round for, for Cowan Crew. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that um, concludes today's draw. Join us again next Monday. We'll have the, uh, of course, some teams will be eliminated, but we'll have the next round to draw for you then. Um, good luck to all the teams competing this weekend. Uh, we wish you all luck, some more than others, of course, because we are incredibly biased here at EUSU. Um, thank you very much to Hector the Giant Panda and of course Connor Sports Union President. Thank you very much everyone. Good night and God bless. <laughs>